Hello YouTube, this is your boy Joker850X coming to you live today, February 23rd, 2016. Woo! And today is going to be the very first what if situation video. Now, I know I always say this, but I'm going to try to keep it down to a certain time frame and I'll probably go over that as I usually do. So here we go. All right, so this one time, me and my brother, we were we were going to the store. I was driving. He was like, bro, what if cars could fly? I know, that that's a pretty simple, common thing, you know, because it takes a while to get places. So you're like, oh, what if my car could fly? You can get places quicker. Now, here's my thing with that. Most people I know, I'm pretty sure they've seen Star Wars, because most of the people I talk to, we're all fucking weirdos and nerds anyway, so I'm pretty sure we've seen Star Wars. Now, in Star Wars, the Jetsons, Futurama, almost anything with flying cars, the traffic is always retarded. Like, you, you have all these cars in the sky, yet you have no cars flying, like, at a, a mid-level or at on a ground level. So, my thing is, I, I immediately envision one of those, like... Okay, we have flying cars. Traffic would be like that. Everybody be chilling up in the sky, not really getting anywhere. Unless you just have these intelligent people like moi, who's going to drive either lower than the rest of society that's too dumb to drop down a few levels, or or that are going to drive down here on a ground level like, I mean, humans used to do. And, you know, I mean, flying cars would be cool and all. I'm pretty sure... If we ever got to that point, we we'd have we wouldn't run on gas anymore. It just wouldn't make sense. Like, pretty sure we'll have something more fuel efficient, more green, something that won't pollute the air as often, and it'll still be something like a natural resource. I mean, honestly, I really believe that like cars could literally run on water. They just have to find a way to, to transmit the water from the. It transmit energy from water to power, pretty much. I mean, uh, power certain power plants that's ran by pretty much water going on a fucking mill and spinning and shit. It's generating energy. That's water generating energy, therefore causing electricity in essence to be made for that mill to do whatever it's doing or that power plant to do whatever it's doing. And I mean, I could be wrong because I'm going off what I seen on Pokemon when I was little, so don't don't quote me on that. But I remember my Pokemon, my nigga Ash, his Pikachu got got his butt fucked. He got fucked up by that nigga Brock's Onyx. So you know, he takes Pikachu to this um this this little electric mill that's like right outside of a city, and. And it's generating electricity. And Pikachu's hurt, so, you know, he's an electric rat. So, you be like, oh, my Pokemon is electric. Let me get him some electricity to juice him up. You know what I mean? So, he, he, he take Pikachu into this mill. And I be, if I remember correctly, him and the, the chick Misty, they start pushing the mill. So, it generates electricity a lot quicker and a lot stronger. So, that's what they do. I mean... Now, imagine if you had a small engine or motor or something like that, and you made it small, and you put it on something like a rotor or whatever, and you just had it rotating inside of cars with the water, would it be possible for it to happen? Or if you had multiple rotors running inside of cars, uh, like, let's say, where the... um. Where the, where, the, where, where the tires are. We, we replaced those with pretty much air rotors. And what that did was it rotated water at a high enough velocity pretty much caused the cars to elevate off the ground and pretty much float or fly. Now, I know I'm just spitting out random dumb shit, but think about it. If it's possible for water to generate electricity in that way, wouldn't it be possible for it to do it in many other ways as well? I mean, I don't, I don't know if someone's thought of this or not, and it failed or it succeeded. But I, I humbly believe water or air alone can really be used as a key to um, 
solving our fuel problem. I, there, there's a way. There has to be a way. I mean, air is everywhere. Water is everywhere. Eighty percent of our our planet is made of water. So it would only, to me, it would only make sense to be able to use water the more for just growing crops or to drink or sustain life. I just think there's more to it. But I could be wrong. So, yeah, guys. I managed to keep this video under 10 minutes. So, on to the next one. Peace.